The 3DS scene keeps growing. You guys, Cell9 has came back from his hiatus, or whatever you want to call it. He basically left because he had some problems with some of the users wanting him to make his NTR custom firmware open source when he just wanted to make it closed source, and everybody kept badgering him about it, and he claimed it was blackmail and claimed that he did not like it, and so he kind of just left. You can't really blame him. I mean, if you're making something for free on the internet and people are giving you crap about it, you know that's not okay you're developing something for free, you're not benefiting at all from it. So the best you could get is some community support. So, you know, eh, whatever. You know, it's done with. We're not really gonna talk about Cell 9 being back really, besides just, you know, if you didn't know, but now you do. So yeah, let's sweep all that under the rug because NTR custom firmware has been updated to preview three. This is super exciting. NTR is the custom firmware that allows so many people to be able to stream video from their 3DS to their computer. There's been utilities made that users can stream it to Xbox Ones and all kinds of different stuff. You can use different external controllers with it. You can use cheats. You can up the CPU clock rate on the new 3DS. In the new Preview 3, he's basically added a Flux mode. Flux is a utility for PC, and you might also know the night shift on iOS where it turns your screen orange-ish at night just so it's a little easier on your eyes. Well, this kind of capability is kind of in the 3DS now, thanks to NTR Custom Firmware. So this is exactly what the update has. Blue light reduction. Reducing the blue light on 3DS via software is now possible with NTR Custom Firmware. Enable this feature in the menu by pressing X plus Y, then it will take an effect starting a game. Now, not all games work with this for some reason. I tried Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, did not get any results, but I did get results in Animal Crossing, and I got some pretty interesting ones too, such as the top screen being mirrored to the bottom screen. For whatever reason, I was screwing around with some of the settings, so I don't know. It's still not perfect, is what I'm trying to say. It also has an overlay plugin support. Now NTR supports a new kind of plugin, Overlay Plugin. Overlay Plugin is a plugin that has the ability to post-process the game screen while playing games. For example, it's possible to draw some widgets like clock or battery level indicator on the game screen with Overlay Plugins. Sample Overlay Plugins will be released later. Dude, this is awesome. I didn't think the 3DS scene had much left to progress, and we're getting really cool things like post-processing. Uh, like post-processing the screen afterwards I could see like what if bloom is possible what if it's like possible to like put bloom or is maybe this is a surface and you know we don't have really access to GPU commands I don't know how deep this rabbit hole really goes but if we could even just put like a little battery indicator like a frame rate indicator like I could see so many cool things coming out of this so hopefully we see some of those cool things and I'm sure we will you know what just the fact that NTR was updated again is absolutely incredible. Don't forget that. Whole new door has just been opened for the 3DS scene thanks to Cell9. Why did you come back, Cell9? I don't understand, but I love you, bro. So now that NTR has been updated, the prospect is, will it get updated again? Will the video streaming get updated? Could video streaming get improved or more features? Could it become easier to use? I don't know, you guys. There is so many, like, Cell9 is back. NTR, I don't know why Cell9 has done things that no other developers have been able to do in the 3DS scene, um, but NTR custom firmware is like nothing anybody else has really done with its feature set anyways. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about NTR being updated in the comment section below. Are you excited for the possibility of new updates, maybe to the video streaming? Are you just happy to see NTR updated? Let me know all your thoughts. I'd love to read them in the comment section below. Anyways, guys, please like it up, subscribe it up, and I'll catch all of you guys in future videos and live streams. Peace out, crew.